What's going on my exotic family? It's your boy Dre. Welcome back to the channel. So we got a little bit of an interesting video today. I was actually uh, speaking with a couple of my cousins um, actually yesterday and we got on the topic of snakes. They were asking me a couple of questions and then it came up talking, uh, we were talking about snake penises and I informed them that um, snakes and some reptiles actually have two uh, penises um, and it just kind of led to a bunch of other questions. Um, and then, you know, we started talking about it on Facebook and it was just, it was interesting, it was fun. Um, as you guys know, I like educating people, especially people that, that want to learn. And these guys don't like snakes. They don't want to do anything near them. But so it's kind of cool to see them interested. Um, so that's what today's video is going to be um, an interesting topic. Um, so if you're you know, trying to get into breeding or you want to understand more just about um, s snake reproduction, um, this is the video for you. So um, uh, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, everybody, so welcome back to the video. Like I said, we're gonna be talking reptile penises. Uh, I, I gotta stop saying that. Uh, the proper term is hemipenes. Um, and basically, hemipenes are a pair of organs um, found in uh, snakes and lizards and uh, worm lizards or squamates is the group. Um, and basically, that sets them apart from other animals like um, crocodilians, um, tuataras, turtles, um, who have singular penises. Now, the hemipenes can be actually found inverted within the reptile they don't just kind of um, hang out there kind of like males uh, or humans obviously but they're inverted until they're needed for breeding um so they kind of just stay hidden in there and then whenever they're ready to get busy um they just kind of pop out and they use them at their leisure so the hemipenes actually have a groove um, or a canal and it's referred to as the sulcus spermaticus um, which is um, that is the path that the sperm travels to impregnate the female. Um, the males also have, um, the hemipenes also have, um, they have like these, you know, veins, ridges, knobs, or branches, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and basically what that is, it kind of, um, it's identical to basically the inside of a female of the same species, and it's supposed to kind of deter hybridizing. Um, so it's create it creates what's called like a lock and key mechanism and it, again it's supposed to deter hybridizing but again i mean we see that doesn't work because we have all types of hybridized animals in captivity so now that we know what hemipenes are um let's talk about why why some reptiles have two so um as most of us know not all of us but if you don't know females have um they have some control over if they're pregnant or not. Basically what happens is um, a male snake, um, you know, inserts one hemipene into a female. However, the female may not always, I guess, be in the mood or it's not always the right time for, um, you know, mating or gestation. So she has pockets actually in her reproductive tract and they can store sperm in those tracts for up to five years. Um, that's why sometimes, um, if you've seen stories um, on the zoo um, where there's a snake who has not been with a male in you know the last like you know three or four years and next thing you know she lays eggs or she you know has babies or whatever the case that does happen not super often but it does happen so they can actually store sperm in their tracks um, for up to five years so because of that um, a lot of snakes um, and even in even in breeding you see with a lot of breeders um, sometimes they'll have a male in with the female and sometimes it just doesn't take that is the reason so for that reason, um, the paternity with male snakes is particularly low, especially in the wild. Um, and you know, another reason for you know having two penises is obviously, at least in the wild, um, snakes typically breed in you know like a huge group. It's like a big snake orgy essentially, and they are competing to breed with this female. So um, having two penises kind of gives them an advantage of you know approaching her from either side, um, but also you know increasing that chance of her impre or being impregnated. The last thing I want to talk about, or another advantage of having two hemipenes, is um, each hemipene is has one dedicated testy or testicle, whatever you want to call it. So basically, if a male snake or male lizard, let's say let's say a bearded dragon in Australia wanted to impregnate a female bearded dragon in Australia, if he impregnates another one female and he wants to impregnate another, once he uses that first um, batch of sperm, that kind of obviously take that hemipene out. It's, it's, it's done. So what he can do is actually breed with that female again and use the other hemipene or find another female and use that other hemipene. So that is the advantage of having two and that is why they have two. Um, again, 
I, gu I guess it's somewhat of a weird video. Um, not a video I actually planned on doing, but again, it's it's something informational. Um, the more we know about these animals, the more we understand them, the kind of the more we kind of realize that, you know, I mean, they're not really creepy or scary. They do things similar to how we do it. But again, very weird video. Um, I don't know how, um, I, I don't know what the reactions are gonna be to this video. Um, I went ahead and wanted to do the video just because like I said, I was researching it, doing more you know, research about it and I found a lot of it interesting. I'm not a breeder. I don't really plan to get into breeding, but I do think it's interesting um, because a lot of the, the things that you know I researched, I didn't know. I didn't know about the lock and key you know, mechanism. I didn't know any of that. I mean, I've seen them, but um, I didn't know. So it's, it's very interesting. And, and again, if you are, you know, looking to getting into breeding or anything like that, definitely look into, you know, the reproductive uh, process for snakes. Don't just get snakes or lizards in general and think you can put the put them together and it's going to work. I know a lot of people do it and it may, they may have success, but um, being educated is probably going to be your best bet. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. I'm definitely open to hearing opinions and I'm really wondering what you guys <laughs> We'll think about this video. Um, hit that subscribe button, turn those post notifications on so you don't miss any uploads. I upload every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Follow me on Instagram at DW Exotics, and as always, stay exotic.